Here in this video we will showcase all the 11 aquatic monsters of the Monsterverse. Just a reminder, we have done a video about the 5 oceanic titans of the Monsterverse last year, but since then, there have been others that have been revealed to us. And we will also include the large subtitans as well in this list, so subscribe if you haven't. And now let's get down to business. The first one, the Maya Squid. Seen in Kong Skull Island of 2017, it isn't really a titan but maybe just a subtitan judging by its size or maybe a gigantus. It was first seen fighting Kong and it was the first creature that fights Kong one on one in Skull Island. It lives in the waterways of that island as well as the ocean surrounding it. Maya squids resemble a colossal cross between a squid and an octopus. Their heads resemble that of an octopus and they have eight long arms lined with suction cups. Their jaws resemble that of a beak which can spin at great speeds. This creature is around 110 feet long. The second one, the genitor. Seen in GVK Dominion, this is a new monster classified as a sub-titan species and not a titan since it wasn't as large as the others. It was, however, the alpha of its own swarm of deadly Duncleosteus species of fishes that are each as large as a killer whale or so. Genitor greatly resembles a Duncleosteus, but it was maybe 150 feet long or so. Its body is blue and it has red fins with two arms ending in claws. Its massive inner teeth like bony plates jut towards from its jaws. Number 3, the Tiamat. This titan seen in GVK Dominion almost got the upper hand in a fight against the king of the monsters in their battle underwater. She could be termed as the queen of the oceans and was way longer than the big G as well as having hydrokinetic powers. She is a titanic serpentine creature. It is light blue in coloration with vibrant purple scales. These scales are serrated and knife-like. Her skull is draconic with yellow eyes and four barbels extending from its sides. Extending from near her head are two wing-like fins and she was visibly longer than the king of the monsters which would make her around a thousand feet long. Fourthly, we have Nakika. This titan was read about in the novelization of Godzilla vs Kong and was then seen in GVK Dominion but was one of the 17 titans stated in the 2019 movie King of the Monsters. It was back then named as the Kraken but was later renamed as Nakika. She looks like a massive octopus with a dense curving cone of shell that protects her massive brain. In Dominion, Nakika is revealed to have at least 8 thick tentacles, akin with multiple rows of suckers, bright blue eyes, an insectile face, an internal shell and a colorful iridescent skin. Next we have the Leviathan. The Leviathan was one of the titans that were monitored by Monarch during the events of King of the Monsters but broke loose out of the containment facility and somehow through the Hollow Earth made its way from Scotland to the Indian Ocean. Not much is known about this titan except for that it was maybe the inspiration for the legendary Loch Ness Monster and also that it is aquatic in nature. Then we go to Scylla. Scylla is a giant armored cephalopod with brown coloration, six very long bony and lightly haired legs each with two joints and ending with a claw and with small spikes growing out of the first joints. She also has a plated mantle with 10 tendrils and a pair of orange eyes. Titanocilla is 341 feet tall and was first seen in Godzilla King of the Monsters Awakening from Nevada, USA. It was also seen in Dominion attacking ships but was ass kicked by Godzilla himself and sent into hiding. Next we have the Swarm Locusts. Swarm Locusts are ambush predators around 22 to 28 feet long that lie upside down in the water and extend their wood-like claws to the surface before using them to grasp on unsuspecting prey. The swarm locusts are found in Skull Island and they blend so perfectly to its natural environment that it is hard to estimate how populous they are. These submerged insectoids extend their woody limbs above the surface, making them indistinguishable from the abundant wetland foliage surrounding them. Number 8. Siren Jaws Also known as Gigantus Crocodilia, they are huge reptilian kaiju who are seen Firstly, in the Skull Island, The Birth of Kong, a Monsterverse comic. The Siren Jaws are huge crocodilian-like creatures with small orange eyes and big jaws filled with razor-sharp teeth that are covered with plant life. The organism resembles an island when immersed in water. The Siren Jaws' plant-like form blends in with its surroundings, allowing unwary prey to walk right into their jaws. They are around 45 to 65 feet in length. Next, we have Mock Yeager. Mark Yeager is an aquatic scaly reptilian titan similar to Godzilla, about the size of a very large whale, maybe around 100 feet long. 
She has a flat face with her nostrils above her human-like eyes, like some aquatic mammals, and her skull protrudes backwards, shielding from her neck. In death, Mark Yeager appears burnt, with her skeleton showing a jagged rift running from her neck to her abdomen. Before the events of Godzilla King of the Monsters, Mark Yeager is believed to have been killed by an unknown titan, but most say it was Godzilla. On the 10th spot, we have Amhuluk. This is a powerful demonic looking titan, black in coloration with 10 yellow eyes. Four tendril-like appendages extend from his face and goes backwards. His hands are made out of vine-like flesh capable of extending to tremendous lengths. His jaws are filled with needle-like teeth and a tongue with a spike. Blue veins can be seen all throughout his body and he has four tree-like legs. He was seen in Dominion defeating Behemoth and then getting his ass whooped by Godzilla. He would be more than 300 feet tall and could survive just as easily underwater as on land, just like Godzilla. And lastly, number 11, Godzilla. And yes, the big G is an aquatic titan, since he spends most of his time underwater and swimming the world's oceans. Though technically a reptile and not an amphibian, Godzilla has an amphibious lifestyle. He spends half of his life in water and the other on land, which makes him adept in combating in both environments. He is almost 400 feet tall and is around 850 feet long. Godzilla has displayed as being able to breathe underwater using his gills, so he can stay underwater indefinitely. And so with that, we come to the end of the video of the 11 aquatic monsters of the MonsterVerse. Do remember to hit that like button for support and subscribe to be a part of the MindQ family. Also ring that bell icon for regular updates when we post new monster content right here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.